Canada. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Barakallah. In regards to the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr, Abdullah ibn Amr, in which we will be told on the day of Rajab, uh, which we will be told on the day of judgment to recite the Quran and ascend until we stop. Do we know if this is based on the implementation of the Quran, its memorization, or both? What if we forget, or our memorization isn't as strong as some surahs? Will we still write? The microphone is on. They can hear the question. They heard the question. Okay. Type. Bidin al Ta'ala, the hadith is pertaining to the Qari, the reciter of the Quran. And it's presupposed that he implements and acts upon the Quran as well. So the Qari who is pious, who is righteous, without a question, is more virtuous than the Muslim who implements the Quran without reciting it. There's no question about that. They're both righteous. But one is learning of the Quran, the other one isn't. The learning of the Quran has a, a virtue. So that's what's meant by this hadith. Am I clear on this? And this hadith does not mean that the pious Muslim who only knew Qul Hula Wahad and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falak barely, he was pious though, and upon the Sunnah, no, 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 no. That's not what the Prophet said, and that's not what he meant. That's other virtues, Jannah, forgiveness, but that's his virtue of the person of the Quran. If you forget, if your memory is not that strong, don't worry about none of these things. Learn the Qur'an, memorize the Qur'an, study the Qur'an, implement the Qur'an, and beg and hope that Allah doesn't send you to the hellfire. That's your job. That's what you should focus on. Ask Allah to give you Jannah, and ask Allah to protect you from hell. That's it. Everything else, leave it in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows best.